Moving bottles for our lab, uh, and we tested some stuff like viscosity and uh, best time, so like how long it takes the bottle to and hit the table. And the volume of one. Yeah. So, for to create the experiment, we were like, well, what can we change? And Isaac's like, first idea was like, hey, let's do something with different li liquids and uh, different visco ah! different viscosity. <laughs> um, so that was their initial idea, and then like. It was like the day of the uh, thing where we had to turn in our idea for our indie lab, and I didn't have a partner or an idea, so I was like, hey Isaac, you want to be partners? And he was like, yeah, sure. So I got stuck with flipping bottles. <laughs> yep. um, issues we found while um, conducting our experiment was... Uh, we had no way of calculating viscosity, we kind of just had to look it up on the internet. Um, and that made it a little weird. And uh, our end goal was to find the optimal, optimum bottle flipping conditions. Yeah, that's the word. Um, so the first uh, part we did was wait, which was the part one was uh, volume. Volume. So we just selected notches on the water bottle because they had like designs on them. So we just chose where like the designs were horizontal for our amounts, which wound up being uh, fairly even. And then uh, when we were doing the experiment, we tried it with uh, water, obviously, because they were water bottles. And the only issue that we had, or that we might have had, was that we used the same water bottle a bunch, and the water bottles get dented on the bottom when they are flipped a bunch. So that could have skewed our just, results just a little bit. This was the data. It's hard to see because for some reason I didn't change the font size, so it's still really small. And also uh, the text is media for color difference. But basically, we found that the ideal amount was uh, 96.1 milliliters of water, uh, or like the second notch, which had a 90% success rate at that amount. Uh, part two. Part two discussed here was it? Uh, Part two was, yeah. Okay, so part two is the viscosity. So we tested uh, water, milk, canola oil, and boysenberry syrup. That's what I had in his cabinet at the time. Um, yep. So this was the, the math to calculate viscosity. It was the shearing force over the velocity integral, or velocity something. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. We're not smart enough. Um, so for the experiment, we just flipped a bunch of bottles with different liquids in it. We actually had different bottles for this one. We didn't use the same bottle for all the liqui liquids. Uh, same thing where like if you flip a bottle a bunch, the bottom gets dented, but like to a lesser degree because we only flip the bottles 20 times with this one. Uh, this was the data. We found that the ideal liquid was water, uh, probably because Isaac had the most uh, experience flipping water bottles as opposed to bottles full of milk. But the milk was very close then. Was... And the boysenberry was awful. Like, I couldn't do it. I tried about 60 times. Yeah. Would not land. So we, we let them warm up a little bit before we flipped each liquid or each uh, vo uh, volume. And with the boysenberry, he just didn't land a single one. It was just awful. <laughs> Uh, part three was figuring out how much time, like, the ideal bottle flip was. So, this one, I think, um, was probably our weakest, like, test that we did, because, uh, it depends on, like, how high you are off the ground when you're flipping it, or, like, how far the bottle goes up, and, like, who flips it, because I assume that everybody has slightly different times that they're comfortable with. So, um... For us, we found that Isaac was best at flipping one that only was in the air for half a second. And then he landed 100% of those, but only 40% of the ones that were in the air for 0.8 seconds. Uh, so we learned that uh, it is best to flip water bottles that are full of water, that are in the air for 0.5 seconds, and that are filled with about 100 milliliters of water. Um, Error could have come from the water bottles uh, suffering damage when they are flipped a bunch, or from uh, the fact that we had to look up the viscosities uh, because calculating it was really hard. Um, 
so they might not have been extremely accurate because they change at different temperatures. Uh, and we can take this data to figure out uh, what other things flip as well as water bottles, because I'm sure that's relevant. Uh, or we could use stuff to figure out something about shearing force, because that seemed interesting, but that seemed like it would be its own lab entirely. Yeah. Any questions about our lab? Yes, Kevin? So is Isaac the all-time flipper? Yeah, so I, my record is 34 flips in a row. I didn't ask for your record. That makes me a very credible uh, bottle yeah. flipper. We said that in our write-up that Isaac was uh, basically a, a bottle flipping machine because he had such a great record. You watch this eight second video. This is him landing a few in a row. Whoa. Look at how accurate he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more questions? <laughs> All right. Thank you for your time. Yes, Matt. Uh, I was going to go next. Oh. <laughs> 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 Can I go? Do you want to stop that?